in 1918, the Spanish flu brought much death and disruption across the world, including the Pacific. A global epidemic, first reported in the city of Wuhan. Now, a hundred years later, the COVID-19 pandemic is having a similar impact on the region. COVID-19 cases in Papua New Guinea has more than doubled to 30. The US Territory of Guam has recorded 58 cases of COVID-19. Through the eyes of four video diarists across Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia, we get a glimpse of how people and communities are building their resilience. Some through God and culture, others through a sense of humour and playing sport. Watch a, a, a game and to go out and play with your friends is something that is really changing the moods of people. I fixed my plate. I know what's missing. A glass of wine. What does COVID normal look like for people in the vast blue Pacific? People are still not maintaining social distancing and wearing masks, that sort of thing. I'm, I'm really scared because once we have a case declared in Vanimo, there will be panic. A lot of people will just flee to the bush. If COVID-19 were to hit Samoa, uh, we can just imagine the limit or the limitations of foods or certain types of supplies going to the island. During the lockdown, and when you know, nobody was doing anything, I kept myself busy working on the garden. So now it's just a waiting game. I'm waiting for these peppers to get big so they can you know, give out peppers. It hasn't been easy, especially when you throw natural disasters into the mix. But the strength of regional cooperation has been demonstrated through initiatives like the Pacific Humanitarian Corridor. We also draw on data and analysis from around the region to give a real picture of how well the Pacific has responded. But in the end, it might be this mix of faith, family, and a bit of farming, which gets us all through to the other side of COVID as we wait for the vaccine rollout and borders to reopen.